we give it up for Mike, seriously? Just a blessing to all of us um, and just your care with all the athletes and sharing their stories. Um, you're just a gift to all of us, so thank you so much. Thank you, Mike. Um, I just want to say thank you to the USOPC. What a tremendous honor. I know everyone is, and I echo those sentiments, uh, to be included in such a historic and inspiring class. You know, I have watched and cheered on so many of you, and to be able to share this stage with you is truly a highlight for me. I want to say a special thank you to Billie Jean King and Coach Pat Summit. You know, Billie Jean was an important mentor for us in our 99 Women's World Cup team in our fight for equal pay. Our game and women's sports would not be where it is today without you. And to Tyler and Coach Summit, I appreciate all the time I was able to spend with your mom. I learned from her to be unapologetic and to embrace my intensity and drive to be the best. And I promised myself never to get a summit stare when I was in her presence. I wanna say thank you to my teammates and my coaches. I am here today, not just because of their votes, <laughs> but because of their belief in me and their investment in creating an environment that both challenged and nurtured me to be the best player and person I could be. To my family and friends who trekked all over the world to watch me play, I am so grateful to have had your love and support throughout my life and my career. I always love trying to find you guys in the stadium, in the stands, I remember in 96, our first Olympic game for women's soccer, and we walked into the Olympic March. And it was hard not to shed a tear, and then I caught my sister's eyes. My family was kitted out in tie-dye, red, white, and blue tie-dye, so they were really hard to find. And um, my sisters were all crying. And I was like, oh my, what am I going to do? I have to play a game. And here I am crying on the field. Um, but just to know that this journey wasn't just my journey. It was our journey. To my husband and my son who couldn't be here tonight. And to be honest, I wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for my husband. I had canceled flights and um, delays, and he was on the phone trying to find new flights for me to get on. I love you both so much, and there isn't a day that goes by that the two of you don't make me laugh and smile. And lastly, to my daughters, I am so glad that you are here tonight in a room full of badass women. Ava and Grace, I am in awe of both of you and what beautiful, kind, loving, and thoughtful young women you're growing up to be. I love you both so much, and I want you to know one thing. You are enough. I love you, and thank you so much. She can't leave yet, we have a surprise. There were some other, what, what word did you use, badass? Badass women, yeah. The Phelps kids are here, I don't wanna. Sorry. Sorry, it's okay. Blame Aunt Mia. I know you usually swear underwater. There are some other <laughs> badass women. Earmuffs. Who uh, represent the US current soccer team who are just, uh, just up the road in Denver preparing for a match and they sent a special message oh, okay. for Mia, so look at the screen. Hey Mia, I'm Becky Sauerbrunn. And I'm Megan Aprino. And we are here training in Denver with the US Women's National Team for a game tomorrow. I think I can speak for everyone when I say that you are a role model and inspiration to all of us. Uh, we just wanted to say 
Congrats on being inducted into the Olympic and Paralympic Hall of Fame. It's unbelievable. You're also on all of our personal Mount Rushmores. Uh, none of us, like, literally would be here without you. So thank you, congrats, and enjoy it. Thank you. Hall of Famer Mia Hamm.